Professional liability insurance, errors and emissions, E&O, and malpractice insurance all fall into a similar bucket of coverage and are designed to protect an insured from claims which can arise from providing professional advice or services to clients. In this video, I'm going to explain professional liability insurance or E&O insurance in detail and when you, as a professional, need it. Coming right up. So professional liability or E&O insurance, where to start? I think the first step is to define what a professional is in the context of the law and with regard to insurance. A professional is any person or firm that provides advice, guidance, or services to others that requires specialized knowledge or skills that the general public does not necessarily possess. Usually there is some form of licensing required to perform those services or and or specialized training and education. So thinking about that statement, the professionals that come to my mind may be lawyers, accountants, real estate brokers, insurance brokers, consultants, financial advisors, stock brokers, engineers, designers, and architects. An entirely different area of professional services includes personal services such as barbers, beauticians, massage therapists, personal or life coaches, etc. Now you may be asking, why didn't I mention doctors, dentists, and surgeons and other medical related professionals? That's because medical malpractice in related fields is a bit different than what I'm covering here. I'll do another video on what we call MedMal in the near future. There are also E&O policy forms for technology companies which cover claims arising from errors and omissions in technology products and services. It's also in the same bucket, but a bit different than the focus of this video, but you can see more about tech e &O here. The other point I wanna bring up is the difference between general liability and professional liability and why you may need both types of policy forms. General liability covers an insured for claims which arise out of bodily injury, property damages, and personal injuries. That can include things like advertising injury, libel, slander, etc. Professional liability, on the other hand, strictly excludes claims for bodily injury and property damage. There are some crossover gray areas of the personal injury issue, but that changes from policy form to policy form, and it's a bit complicated, so I'm not gonna go into it here. The key issue for professional liability insurance is that it covers claims which arise from providing professional services, advice, or guidance, which results in a client suffering a financial harm. The point is that most professional service firms will need both policy forms because they cover two different kinds of claims. Let's take as an example a consultant. It can be any sort of consulting firm providing professional advice to their clients. They have an office and a client visiting their office slips and falls on a wet floor and they injure themselves. They sue the consultant for their injuries, the pain and suffering for a million dollars. Here, the general liability policy is going to respond to this claim. And a similar claim can happen even if the consultant doesn't have an office and only works remotely or only visits clients on occasion. The second type of claim for a consultant can be something like this scenario. A management or a business consultant advises a client to make certain changes in their business to improve profitability, which the client deploys. A year later, the client's business is in worse financial condition and they end up filing for bankruptcy. The client sues the consultant for the bad advice which led to the bankruptcy and the financial damages that occurred. In the second claim, there was no evidence or claim for bodily injury or property damage. The claim focuses on the bad advice which led to the client suffering financial damages. So that's E&O insurance. When do you need professional liability or E&O insurance? That's a good question, and there are several answers to it. First, you may be forced to purchase E&O or professional liability insurance by your customers when entering into a contract. In fact, many new customers approach us for E&O coverage when they've landed their first big contract and the customer is mandating professional liability or E&O insurance. The client may never have considered this insurance, but now, they must get it to satisfy the customer's contract demands. And it's certainly important for them to have it for potential claims that could arise from this engagement and other engagements as well. Second, you need professional liability insurance or e &O, when your business fits that category of providing professional services I described earlier. Because your business owners or general liability insurance is not gonna cover claims which arise from errors and omissions you make in providing services to your clients. What's covered under a professional liability policy or E&O policy? Another good question. The first and most critical part of professional liability insurance is defense costs. 
I've had some clients say, I'll never be sued for professional liability, and if I did, the claim would never be successful. I don't really agree with that statement, but this is where defense protection comes into play. Many ENO type claims eventually may be dismissed, but getting to that dismissal is going to cost a lot of money in lawyers' fees and other costs, and that's covered under your ENO policy. Typically, there is a deductible or retention, which is what you will pay out of pocket before the insurance company pays, but after that, the insurance company picks up defense costs 100%. Second, Obviously, are settlement costs, which are the amounts you must pay to settle a claim. Settlements can be big, so buying sufficient coverage is important. Now, I want to mention an important footnote here, and that is that most ENO policies are written on a claims made policy form, and a key provision in most claims made forms is that defense costs are made part of your limit of liability, meaning that they reduce the available limit of coverage from your policy as defense costs are expended. If you had a million dollar limit of E&O insurance and a claim incurs a half a million dollars of defense costs, that means you're only gonna have a half a million dollars left in that policy for settlements. For this reason, it's important to purchase high limits of protection. Today, it seems like the different types of specialized advisors and consultants that others are willing to pay for their special, specialized knowledge is ever growing and expanding. Earlier, I mentioned professionals like accountants, attorneys, and several other types of professionals, and most of them are insured on specialized forms specifically written around that profession, such as lawyer's professional liability policy or a real estate broker's E&O policy. But what about all those unique consultants and other professional service providers? This is where it gets a bit tricky and you need some unique handling. In the insurance business, we call that MPL, or Miscellaneous Professional Liability Insurance. And the tricky part is getting the definition of professional services right so that all potential claims are covered. Sometimes this is where the negotiating game between a broker and an underwriter is necessary to define professional services broadly enough to cover the types of claims that can arise from the insurance profession. Okay, to wrap it up, as you can see, the different types of professionals, advisors, and consultants that need E&O insurance or professional liability insurance is pretty broad. Many traditional professional categories have, have their own specific coverage forms, and a broad category of consultants and advisors may fall under the miscellaneous professional liability policy form. Regardless of what type of profession or policy form you may be or need, I think the key to getting your protection right is to work with an expert insurance broker who understands the nuances of different policies as well as a broad market knowledge of the marketplace and can help you find the right protection tailored to your needs at a competitive premium. If that's what you're looking for, I can help you. With over 40 years of experience in the commercial insurance business and four professional designations, I focus on unique coverage forms like E&O, professional liability insurance, for a wide range of professionals. Give me a call, drop me an email, or use the link in the description box below to book a call directly on my calendar. Let's have a conversation. I promise, no hardcore selling, just a chat to see if we may be a good fit for you and your business insurance needs. Thanks a lot.